These are the top four mock toe boots from the Mocktober finale, where in that video I said any one of these four boots could easily be considered the best mock toe, depending on what your needs are and what you're planning on doing in the boots. So in this video, we're gonna quickly go through all the layers and identify what they are and rank them on a few different scales to give you the information that you need to make an informed decision on which mock toe is gonna work best for you. And the three scales that we're gonna be ranking each layer on are is less durable to more durable, easy break-in to hard break-in, and in a few layers, we'll substitute that for comfort. And the last one is casual oriented to work oriented. Now let's quickly go over the boots and the information and the price, because price is an important metric when considering this boot. And all the information we go through should be put through that lens of price, because some of these boots are 25% less than the other boots. So starting with the Red Wing Classic Mock, retails for 279. White's Perry Mock Toe retails for 269. Thoroughgood's Mock Toe for 205. And Thursday's Diplomat Mock Toe Boot for 199. So we're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up. And the, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the outsole. So I took this durometer tester and tested the hardness of each of these outsoles. So the higher the number, the harder the material is and the more wear resistant and the less comfortable it's gonna be. The lower the number, the more comfortable it's gonna be, but the more it's gonna wear out. So the results are the Red Wings came in at 42 and it's rubber based. The Whites came in at 38, it's polyurethane based. The Thoroughgoods came in at 45 and it's polyurethane based. And the Thursdays came in at 42, just like the Red Wings, and it's rubber based. Another thing to consider is polyurethane base versus rubber has a few different characteristics to consider. Polyurethane is a little more wear resistant, but it's a little more slippery when wet. Rubber is a little more grippy in water, but it tends to wear a little bit quicker. Next to the welt, so the Red Wings have a regular leather welt. The Whites have a leather storm welt. The Thoroughgoods have a synthetic storm welt, and the Thursdays have a regular leather welt. Most people prefer the leather welt because it's a little more durable. And for dirt resistance and water resistance, a lot of people prefer the storm welts like on the Thoroughgoods and Whites. Next to the midsole, so the Red Wings have a 2.5 millimeter rubber midsole. The Whites have a 3.5 millimeter rubber midsole. The Thoroughgoods have a 2.5 millimeter rubber midsole. And the Thursdays are the only ones with the leather midsole and it's about 2.5 millimeters. And according to Trenton and Heath, the leather midsoles are preferred for longevity because it bonds better to whatever you're gluing it to. But the rubber midsole are a little bit more water resistant. Next to the filling, they're all cork filling and they're all relatively the same amount, so there's not a huge difference there. Next to the shanks, so the Red Wings don't have a shank, the Whites have a shank built into the outsole itself, the Thoroughgoods have a fiberglass shank, and the Thursdays have a steel shank. A shank really only matters with the wedge sole if you're climbing on ladders and using shovels where you're hitting that part of the boot over and over. So for work, you're gonna want something with a shank. If you're just walking casually, it doesn't matter if there's a shank. And if you're going through a lot of airports, you might want a fiberglass shank. Next to the insole, so the Red Wings have a five millimeter leather insole. Whites have a 3.5 millimeter leather insole. Thoroughgoods have a two millimeter fiberboard with a 2.5 millimeter layer of pour-on foam on top. And Thursdays have a 2.5 millimeter fiberboard with a layer of latex foam and leather on top. And the Thoroughgoods do have an insert that go on top and same with the whites, but I didn't really include it in there, but it's something to consider. So the fiberboard in the Thoroughgoods and the Thursdays, it breaks in a lot faster, gives you that footprint faster, but it's not as durable. The leather is a lot more durable, but it takes a lot longer to break in. The foam layers and inserts are gonna give you that initial comfort while you're breaking the boots in, and the pour-on foam in the Thoroughgoods is, is, is a higher quality foam. It's gonna last longer. It's not gonna compress nearly as fast. Now to the counter material. So the Red Wings are a leather board which is it's basically reconstituted leather fibers or kind of like a leather cardboard. The whites are a hard cardboard counter. The Thoroughgoods is kind of a fiber board counter and the Thursdays are a heat activated counter. And none of these are necessarily a fragile counter but the Thursdays and the Thoroughgoods are gonna break in faster especially the Thursdays and the whites and the Red Wings are gonna break in slower and they might be a little bit more durable. Now to the counter covers. So the Red Wings are a flesh out leather counter cover that's internal. The Whites are a leather counter cover that's external. The Thoroughgoods are a flesh out leather counter cover that's internal. And the Thursdays, they don't really have a counter cover, but the lining leather covers the counter. Most high end work boots are gonna have an external counter cover like the Whites, so it's probably the most durable. And then next to the internal counter covers with the Thoroughgoods and Red Wings, and the least durable but the most casual is the Thursdays without the dedicated counter cover. Next to the linings, so the Red Wings have a 1.5 millimeter leather liner just in the vamp. 
The whites have a 1.2 millimeter suede leather just in the vamp. The thoroughgoods are a cotton lining just in the vamp. And the Thursdays are a full leather lining that's 1.2 millimeters. So the leather linings are gonna be more durable, but they're less breathable. The cotton lining is gonna be more breathable and less hot, but it's maybe not as durable. Now to maybe the most important layer, the upper leather. So the Red Wings are a 2.5 millimeter chrome tan leather that has a medium to firm temper and they're pretty tough to break in. The whites are a 2.8 to 3 millimeter chrome tan leather that has a medium temper that are average to break in. The thoroughgoods are a 2.5 millimeter chrome tan leather that are that's tumbled, so it's a really soft temper. So there's almost no break in period with the thoroughgoods. And the Thursdays are a 1.8 millimeter chrome tan leather, and because it's thinner and it's a medium temper, it's pretty average to the easy side of breaking in. Generally, the thicker the leather is, the more durable it's going to be. And the more firm the leather is, the, the harder it is to break in, but you're gonna get a more custom fit and you're gonna get a little bit more ankle support. Now that we've been through all the layers of each of these boots, let's tally up the scores on all of those scales and I'll give you an, an overview, a summary of what I think of each boot. Starting with the Red Wings. So the Red Wings are the iconic mock toe boot. When, when people think of a mock toe, they think of the Red Wings and they, they have the best overall materials with the thickest leather insole a leatherboard counter, a good thickness of leather on the upper, and the best lining leather. But they are the most expensive and they're a huge pain to break in, which I don't really mind. I kind of like it as a rite of passage to have to break these boots into your feet. Next is the whites. To me, the whites balance the best of both worlds of casual and work and durability and comfort because they've got that super thick leather upper that's fairly easy to break in and it's really durable. They've got a leather midsole that's not quite as hard to break in as the Red Wings because it's a little bit thinner. You've got that steel shank in the outsole and you've got an outsole that's gonna last fairly long and it's pretty durable. But it's not a style that everyone is gonna love because it's got that Pacific Northwest boot style with the heavy stitching, the external counter cover and all like the four layer stitching through here. It's not quite as clean as the Red Wings. The Thorough Goods are the best dedicated work boot. If you're looking for a mock toe predominantly to work in, the Thorough Goods are probably the best choice because they're the best price, little to no break in period. They've got the longest lasting outsole. They're the most comfortable to begin with and probably through the lifetime of the boot. And they're the easiest to put on and take off at the end of the day but they have the most man-made material, so they, they have the, the chance to fail sooner and you might not be able to get quite as many resoles out of these as the rest of the boots. Finally, to the Thursdays. So the Thursdays are probably the best casual boot because they're a really great price. You can wear them with a lot more things because they don't look as much like a work boot because of the, the slimmer toe profile, but they're definitely not a work boot. And if you did wear these in a work situation, they'd probably wear out a lot faster. And they're maybe the least durable out of the four. So to sum it all up, if you're looking for the iconic mock toe, get the Red Wings. If you're looking for a really good hybrid boot, get the Whites. If you're looking for a dedicated work boot, get the Thoroughgoods. And if you're looking for a casual boot on a, for a good price, get the Thursdays. So that pretty much covers everything I could ever cover with the mock toe series. And now it's time to wear these over the next year for the next October. And let me know what you guys think and which one you ended up choosing. And thanks for everything you guys do. See ya.